Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Jurassic World The Game video. Um, I know we've been making a lot of these lately. But, um, yeah, anyways, today is the first video of, uh, I mean, not the first video. Today is the first day of Jurassic June. Ten more days till the movie comes out. Off I'm going to scraps. Oh yeah, so I won this Allosaurus in a uh, pack. I can't remember how I got the pack. It was like a carnivores pack. And I uh, got an Allosaur. In our news, I also uh, evolved the Lemnocellus to level 30. Which will be needed for this event. The Fear the Raptor. Now, it's a guaranteed Velociraptor. Along with some res resources. Which is why I got the Lemna Velas. So, no KO within team, so there's not really a point in putting a whole team of amphibians in here. He cannot kill me in two. He can't even kill me in like he can take off quite a bit of my health, but he can't kill me. And see, he's like. He's already dead. Then again, it's a level 10 Pyro Raptor versus a level 30 Lumber Sounds. I'm excited to see Pyro Raptor and the other new dinosaurs in the movie. Because you know, obviously every Jurassic Park movie is always fun to watch, especially when they add new dinosaurs. Because then you don't even have an idea of what to expect. Um, yeah, Majongasaur does got this in the bag. We don't even need other high. Well, we're gonna eventually need to level up those bomb bombs. We're gonna need another high level carnivore pretty soon. Might make a video on that. It's called like Guan Long Level 40. Although that won't be for a while. And uh, just because we like to do this with every fight, um, if this was real life fight, we would lose. The last fight, Limnocellus versus Pyroraptor, I'm not sure, but I think the Pyroraptor would win. And I forgot how much he went for, so I'm just gonna go one, two, factor in one block, because he went for three, I believe. Okay. Still, though, this Argentinosaurus doesn't have nearly enough to, like, even seriously wound the Majungasaur. Like, oh, barely took us down to 100 health. I like how the game, it just adds extra attack. Because, like, 8 times 90 is... Dang, I suck at now. It's 720. I believe that's 8 times 90. Yeah, it is. Okay. But that was like a thousand damage right there. Um. Argentina Sora and Alank will have this. Going right for the attack. See, look at that. It added 12 extra attack when he hit me. Can we take him out in two? Oh my god, we can. He just screwed himself. We don't even need to say who would win in real life. Yeah, j yeah, just hit me. There you go. Animal abuse.
Yeah, Argentinosaurus can be a beast sometimes. Can be. Especially when you get it like high level. I know it's not nearly like as beast as other animals like the Plotocus or Superosaurus. Or Brachiosaurus. Or Seganosuchus or a lot of these other high level rare herbivores. I say rare is in like like That's in the way. Um, all right, there we go. We have a few rumble. This is all of our pterosaur. <laughs> this is a. This is sad. Let's go. I think I should just put the high level Tropogonicus in front. It would make more sense. Okay, he just abused my bird. Now, this isn't going to make much sense. So I'm swapping to this Guamon. Get some reserves off, because pterosaurs on my team are more important. Okay, there you go, so he will attack my Guanlong. Not enough to kill me. Can you kill him? Okay, yeah. Not much point in going for an attack here. Just, you know, wanting him to be okay, yeah, just making it as difficult for him to kill the Guanong as possible. And then the Tropiognathus comes out. I'm still not sure if he's supposed to say it like that. One, two, two block, because we have nothing else to do with it. Alright, now there's basically nothing he can do here. Nothing he can do. But he can take out my Tropogonophis. I don't really care because I have an even stronger one. Which kills him in two hits. Four reserves. And then two block. Which then we could just take out the Lemnosaurus. Which is only level 10 and only does 9 damage. He just ate that damage. 1,000 attack. <laughs> See, this is why you always love all your creatures, because if that thing can do 1,000 attack with a type advantage and a whole 8 on uh, level 20, imagine what it could do at level 40 when it doesn't have a type advantage or a full 8. And I don't have a full team. <laughs> well, I guess, well, I don't know why I was talking like that. I sound like Palpatine. Well, uh, we don't have any food. Oh, we just buy back creatures. I forgot about that. Um... There. Two Guanongs don't really care what happens to them. And my jungle so. Now, would we win this fight in real life? No. No. The Utah Raptor and the Triceratops already do enough damage, but, but that's how got the works. It's weird that they have like one raptor dinosaur animation. There's there such huge differences between Guanlong and Utah Raptor. A Utah Raptor was a was a 
beast and then like Utah Raptor, I mean uh, Guanlong was, you know, kind of small. And there's a huge size difference and one's like a little Tyrannosaur and the other's a, like, a, basically a bird crocodile looking creature. I know what I'm saying is like a severe overgeneralization. Like a guan a guan long was like a distant relative of the T Rex. Okay. I'm usually not worried about the Majungasaur here. Um props to the Guanlongs for actually taking out the Utah Raptor. I can't do anything here. I mean, it can, but it didn't even take me past 100 health. We would have done 1,800 damage if it didn't do a block. Would have. Oh, he blocked, so it didn't do that much damage. And now we shall ask the other age old question, who would win this fight? Probably us, because we have two pterosaurs. And the Majungasaur and the Tropiognathus can't really do much against the Triceratops. And then we have two Tropiognathus, so... I know I keep changing the way I say it, I have no idea how to say it. Actually wasn't paying attention to what he did. Okay, that was a very lucky guess. Oh, I thought he would have swapped out. I guess not. I bet we can still take out the Majungasaurus, even with, even with his type advantage. Yeah, we can. How much damage do we do? Even with the type disadvantage, we do almost 500 damage. But he blocked for two. So it's probably like 300. Yeah, there we go. At least it wasn't a bony dinosaur. At least. Oh no, no, no way on earth. Alright, well I think that's going to end today's video. Certainly hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all enjoy your Jurassic June. Go watch the new movie. Um, if you liked the video, leave a like. And hope you'll consider subscribing. And uh, have a good day.